News 46 is brought to you in part by... The residents and staff of the Beehive Home would like to thank everyone for their help and support throughout the year and wish you all... Happy, Happy Holidays! <laughs> well, certainly with anybody who's having problems with their home or they feel they have to abandon their home or they maybe are homeless and living outside in tents, uh, we have a warm shelter here for them to stay in with cots and chairs and food and water and coffee and uh, ready to just uh, do whatever they need to have done. When did we get this going this morning? What, what time did we begin this? It was established a few hours ago. I think it was really right. designated. Um, and the EOC is commanding everything throughout the valley, so they have ultimate control of what's happening. So it's set up here and established and ready to go for anybody that has a need at any time. Search and Rescue is uh, doing various different positions as far as uh, the state of the community right now. Tell me why. Well, there's a lot going on, and so every emergency service or volunteer uh, personnel available is out helping with road closures, uh, stuck vehicles, abandoned vehicles, anything the Sheriff's Department may need assistance with. We have people with four-wheel drives that are dedicated to, if there's roads officers can't get down or deputies can't get to families that might need some assistance, we can take them down those roads. So whatever the call comes through, we're there and available. You do have the vehicles to go all over town. You you guys are also helping out and looking if the roadways are safe or not right now. Right. We've been doing some reporting over which roadways are, are severely damaged or caving in or are completely flooded out. So quite a few have been designated and marked off and will be throughout the day as we have more rain coming. That is an issue with the caving in, the, the dirt coming from underneath the roadway. Yeah, and there's a couple spots already that that's happened with today. Oh, really? Can we let the public know what they are? I couldn't give you that exact information on where those are because I'm not sure. It's just probably best not to go over the roadways when there's water going across. Well, absolutely true. You don't know what's underneath the muddy water whether you're running into a sinkhole. We have reports that there's already a sinkhole uh, at the uh, south end of town. Mm -hmm. And so it'd be wise not to uh, d take any chances and drive across a road you can't see what you're driving on. But in addition to what we're doing today in the, the typical emergency situation is doing the normal things. We have calls in where they have three people who've slipped and fall down, uh, one person who was kicked in the chest by a horse, uh, one person's had a heart attack, so it's situation normal as far as that goes, as well as what is going on with this severe weather condition. Is there um, uh, is the flooding hindering the ambulance calls and uh, going you know, from locations to go help people? Well, it certainly is making it a little more treacherous, a little more dangerous for the drivers, and they're being extra cautious. Uh, but it's not slowing them down that much. They're still answering the calls, uh, still going out. Uh, we went out this morning to the uh, Citizens Center, make sure that they were getting their food delivered uh, for the people who get food delivery. And uh, so the services are going on as, as normally would, but obviously it's going to be just a little more cautious about how they're going to be doing it. And uh, Albert, um, how long will we be having the Bob Rood open today? I haven't heard the exact time on what they're going to do with that, but I'm sure as the, as the need requires, if the rain continues, if there are situations that could be happening, that it should be open and available. There are other locations in town that have offered assistance if this became unavailable or became full. And so hopefully you've got some of that information to give out to the community.